The land explored by our ancestors extends from the Altai to the White Sea. The scientific expedition Trails of Nomads is set to unveil the path of our forefathers. A three-year-long expedition heads for the west. A group of scientists led by Pilgrim of the 21st century, Sapari Skaka visited more than 20 countries in 70 days. Watch an amazing story of a great journey in the program Trails of Nomads. In today's Trails of Nomads episode, what was the role of the Kipchak army in the Battle of Grunwald, which became a key event in the history of Poland? What was the tactical advantage of the Kidashti Kipchak soldiers, led by Jalal ad-Din? What did our ancestors use to make chemical weapons in the 12th century? The descendants of the Great Steppe have gained independence almost 27 years ago. Is this a long period or not? Of course, it is a drop in the ocean from a historical point of view. However, yesterday's fate of the people and today's achievements are comparable to an entire era. Most importantly, a centuries-old dream of ancestors has come true. Of course, there were many powerful states on the vast steppe. These are the associations of the Saxe, Huns, the Turkic, Kaganat, Deshta Kipchak, and finally, the Kazakhanate. A rich history allows descendants to stride confidently into the future. However, now this is not the time to rest. Globalization, radicalism, and many other dangers threaten anyone who permits weakness. One needs to be prepared to confront threats, including spiritual and moral ones. That is why the scientists led by Sapari Skakov went on an expedition. The next stop after Lithuania is Poland. Poles are not strangers for Kazakhs. Without going deep into history, let us review the 20th century featuring many events that strengthened the ties between the two peoples. For example, in the 1930-1940s, the Poles were deported to Kazakhstan. According to unofficial data, some 45,000 people were resettled, including many educated people who subsequently took an active part in the social and political life of the new homeland. However, for the first time, Poles visited the Kazakh land in the 13th century. Famous traveler Marco Polo is considered first European to discover Asia. However, even 30 years prior to his journey, another European, Polish monk Benedict, had visited and collected a lot of information about the life of the Kipchaks in the Great Steppe. According to scientists, Benedict's manuscripts are considered the most valuable in the history of the Dishtep Kipchak state. The Polish scientist came to our land to study the way of life of the Kipchaks, as our ancestors enjoyed authority in those days. Bizim babalarımız Kipchaklar Avrupa'ya our ancestors Kipchak settled in Europe gradually. The first wave was during the period of Kotyan Han. He visited Hungary in the 13th century. The next arrival of our ancestors on the land of Lithuania and Poland was in the 14th and 15th centuries. They arrived to serve in the army to defend Lithuania against the Teutonic conquerors. They needed well-trained soldiers, therefore the European states needed our ancestors and their help. The Kipchaks were invited in large numbers. 
Әскер керек бұд, жауын көлдер жетіспегенің кейін барып, қыпшақ таласынан шақыра бастады адамдарды. Сол бақытында көп біздің бабаларымыз қыпшақтар сол араға көшті семейлерімен. The first stop of the scientific expedition following the footsteps of ancestors is the city of Bialystok, located in the northeast of Poland. It was founded in 1691. However, the first mention of the city is found in the manuscripts dating from the 14th to 15th centuries. According to the written sources, the Tatars moved here during the same period. At present, many Tatars, Muslims, live near Bialystok. They have their own national centers and adhere to the religion of their ancestors. The Europeans who needed their help never put pressure on them. In return, they received faithful and courageous defenders of the state. Before arriving in Poland, the scientific expedition's caravan visited Lithuania. There, scientists met with representatives of the Tatar diaspora, talking a lot about historical times. Poland's Tatar scholars also referred to the same group. In their opinion, there are no special differences between the Tatars of the two neighboring states, except for the geographical location. The Tatars of Lithuania, Belarus and Poland are one people. They are called Lipka Tatars. In the 14th-18th centuries, this vast territory was part of the Great Lithuanian Principality. Therefore, they have a common history in the Middle Ages. Residents of Eastern Europe began to call our ancestors Tatars. However, they're not Tatars, they're Kipchaks. And they were called so because of the Mongol Tatar invasion. The Mongol Tatar were called Tatars by the Europeans. This white yurt is another proof that Polish Tatars and Kazakhs are blood relatives. Here one can see national clothes of Tatars, traditional household items, patterns and ornaments are similar to ours. Of course, there are differences related to European culture. And yet, there are a lot of disputes between historians about European Muslim Tatars. Each leads own arguments. In this regard, the scientific leader of the expedition following in the footsteps of ancestors expressed his proposal. In his opinion, all these questions should be addressed at an international conference. In addition, the forum would be a good opportunity to discuss the topic of common roots. According to Sapar Skakov, Tatars should know about their blood ties with the Kipchaks, because there are often misconceptions about the genealogy. There are some reasons. Many Kipchak Tatars who moved to Lithuania and Poland were warriors. Then, having married local girls, they got families here. The Tatars, considered one of the branches of the Kipchaks, played an important role in the history of the Polish state. They always participated in the country's military conflicts and ensured the security of the state. Moreover, Poland gained independence thanks to their courage. In turn, Poland supported the Kipchak Tatars, creating favorable conditions for the preservation and development of their national values. They were given the best lands and were allowed to practice their religion. The presence of numerous number of mosques fortify this. Exploring the Tatar settlements, the scientific expedition visited the museum. Here, scientists considered the kinship of the Kipchak's descendants. For example, items of everyday life, weapons and other military equipment of ancestors are similar. Both Tatars and Kipchaks were excellent riders. They used the winning military tactic, thanks to which they won many battles. One of the most significant battles was held with the Teutonic Order. In the 15th century, the Kipchak warriors led by Jalal ad-Din defeated the enemy in the Battle of Granwald. Having decapitated the Teutonic commander, they repulsed the desire of the Crusaders for aggressive campaigns for a long time. 
Unfortunately, few people know about this glorious feat of the ancestors in the historical homeland, as in Europe, people admire this feat. Jalal ad-Din played a decisive role in this battle. The Poles would have suffered a defeat without the Kipchak army, and the history of Poland would have developed quite differently. In those days, no one could be compared to Dish the Kipchak warriors. The union with them meant a success. The Polish people will never forget the feat of the Kipchak warriors. The common historical past brings our two states closer together. The Battle of Grunwald is a confrontation between the United Army of Poland, Lithuania and Deszta Kipchak against the Teutonic invaders. The battle took place on July the 15th, 1410, in the north of modern Poland. The enemy army included German and French knights, as well as British and Swiss mercenaries. The 40,000 Kipchak warriors, led by an outstanding commander, were on the front line of the battle. The endurance of the Kipchaks was legendary. They could not get off the horse for five or six days. They ate and drank on horseback. The food of that time has still preserved in the national cuisine of modern Tatars. Many different battle tactical methods of the Kipchaks reached Europe. During the battle, Deshta Kipchak warriors acted unpredictably for the enemy. Already in those days, they began using chemical weapons. Surprisingly, it was prepared from the horse manure. The effect of such preliminary processing of the enemy before the battle was enormous. The enemies were poisoned with acrid smoke, after which they lost the strength. According to the manuscripts, it is known that the Kipchaks had very strong divisions of scouts, who extracted information about enemies for the command of the army. The archives of Belarus, Lithuania and Poland keep corresponding information. Local scientists are now exploring these valuable materials. Kazakh historians should also join them members of the scientific expedition believe. The Kipchak Tatars used various tactical methods during the battle to lure the enemy's main forces into a trap. For example, in the midst of a battle, the Kipchak warriors suddenly retreated, imitating defeat and escape from the battlefield. When the enemy embarked on the hunt, fresh forces from the side crushed them. Our ancestors used dried horse manure as a chemical weapon. This fact should be studied more in detail. Lithuanian prince Witold and king of Poland Ladislav Jagiello, only after unification with the army of the Kipchak military leader Jalal ad-Din defeated the German knights. Who knows how the history of Poland would turn out without the support of the Kipchak army. Therefore, talking about the Battle of Grunwald, the bravery of the Kipchak warriors and their contribution to the victory are always mentioned. People know about this and remember it. Members of the scientific expedition made proposals for the filming a special movie dedicated to this great battle. Our ancestors brought victory to Lithuania in this battle. Using their methods of conducting a step battle, they clinched the victory and gave it to Lithuanians. In archery, the Kipchaks had no equals. They had the ability to hit 20 targets in one minute. Simulating the escape from the battlefield, Kipchaks defeated the enemy more than once. After all, the enemy could not resist the temptation of pursuing the defeated enemy. Thus, they fell into a trap. The tactics of the Kipchak warriors gave a concrete result, and this was the most important thing during the battle. Tombstone in the forest, maybe our ancestors who bravely fought in the Battle of Grunwald were among those who rest here. The inscriptions on the monuments are very similar to the Turkic writing. 
Now they need to be studied and investigated, scientists believe. Мынау Польша елінде біздің бабаларымыздың артында қалған көп қабірлер бар. Жерленген Many graves of our ancestors are located in Poland. Traditionally, the graves of all soldiers who died on the battlefield feature tombstones. Korgan steli, or ball balls, cut from the stone, confirm this. Later, Europeans followed this practice, erecting granite tombstones. Uh, Another conjured people in Poland are the Karaites. In the Middle Ages, they were part of the Deszta Kipchak state. We told about them in the previous films. To know the degree of kinship, scientists took samples of DNA from the Karaites. Based on the results of the analysis, conclusions will be drawn about the genetic affiliation of the Karaites. Вот мы знаем караимы, что мы часть э, одного большого э, народа, Дешкипчак. We, the Karaites, know that our ancestors were once part of the Dishta Kipchak people. We have preserved our native language, which originates from the Kipchak. Despite the fact that we live in Europe far from the historical homeland, we have preserved and developed our culture, customs and traditions. We have our own theater and folklore ensemble here. До сегодняшнего дня в Польше и в Литве наши родственники на Караимском общаются. Participants of the scientific expedition following the footsteps of ancestors met with local scientists and talked about common historical past at the embassy of Kazakhstan in Poland. As it turned out, many problems need to be considered at the international level. Therefore, it is necessary to gather all interested persons at a large conference. Ambassador of Kazakhstan to Poland Selim Kazbievich is also representative of the Karaitis. He believes that a common history and common roots are the basis for further strengthening of ties and rapprochement between the two states. Unfortunately, we have not preserved our language. Since the 17th century, we speak Polish. Until that period, our ancestors spoke Belarusian. Now we turn to the historical monuments, renewing ties with fraternal states, where our blood relatives, the descendants of the Kipchaks, live. Poland has created all conditions for this. The promotion of the common history is the main tool in the youth upbringing. The ambassador of Kazakhstan to Poland speaks about the relevance of President of Kazakhstan Nursultan Nazarbayev's article, The Course Towards the Future, Modernization of Public Consciousness to the Whole World. In my opinion, the President's article is of great importance for both Kazakhstan and other cultures. People can preserve themselves by preserving history, customs and traditions. Therefore, this program is relevant for all peoples. The wise people compare the state in the Great Steppe with Yurt, the dwelling of nomads. They said the Volga is the door to the house, the Ural is the walls, and Turkestan is the most honorable place in this house. These are valuable words of edification to future generations from the past. We are indebted to our ancestors for the lives participants of the scientific expedition following the footsteps of ancestors constantly say. The scientific expedition following the footsteps of ancestors continued their journey after having completed its work in Poland. The next stop is Germany. How many heroes, Kazakhs, died on the battlefields of the Second World War? Many brave fathers and grandfathers are now resting on the German land. We will continue the story about our brave ancestors in the next episode.